Right now, a developing case in Western Dane County as law enforcement tries to find the suspect who stabbed a deputy. Plus, a high-profile murder case involving two local teenagers comes to a conclusion in a Dane County courtroom. And the city of Madison just weeks away from opening a new sheltered campground to house dozens of people in need. News 3 Now at 6 begins right now. Emergency traffic on one. Need all units to Fesky Park. Odd Sherbal. 452 stamped. No suspect description, no interviews, and still no arrest tonight after police say a man stabbed a Dane County deputy in a park. Now, we've been working to learn more about what happened and who police are looking for all day. Brad Hamilton is live at Fesky County Park with the very latest. Brad. Well, as you can see behind me, all day long, law enforcement has been blocking off the entrance to the park as they try and search and find the man that attacked and hurt a deputy. A state of patrol of Fest Jeep Park last night turned violent in a hurry. Emergency traffic on one. Need all units to Fest Jeep Park. Four, five, two, six, seven, stamped. That somebody was a Dane County deputy. The Department of Justice tells us around 8.15 last night, the deputy spotted someone suspicious in the park. When she confronted the man, he attacked her with a knife or a bladed weapon, as the DOJ described it. The deputy fired her gun, but the man took off. Nothing happens like this normally in our neighborhood. And just being a block away, things are very difficult, and um, it's, it's, it's trauma. Chuck Descharm lives close by FESG Park, and in over two decades, he's never seen or heard of any crime taking place at the park. It's As been a quiet neighborhood, and uh, I used to take my kids up to the park. I used to take them down to Samuel's Pond, and after what I heard last night, it was pretty shocking. Shocking enough to send security and place two Middleton Cross Plains schools on hold, meaning no visitors this afternoon, and the district says dismissal will go on normal today, but police will be on site. With the suspect still on the loose, Descharm hopes that he's caught as soon as possible to bring peace of mind back to his community. Yes, it does bother us because um, it's been such, like I said, a quiet neighborhood, and um, I like to see this guy caught. Well, the deputy is at home recovering tonight after being rushed to the hospital. That's all we have right now, and this is a developing story, so we're going to continue to update you. Make sure to check out our website, channel3000.com, with the latest updates. But for now, reporting in Cross Plains, Brad Hamilton, News 3 Now. Brad, thank you. The teenager who pleaded guilty to the murder of Verona Area High School student Shay Watson will spend the next two decades in prison. Today, a judge handed down a sentence of 20 years incarceration and 10 years extended supervision for Myjee Sanders. Back in 2019, he killed Watson over a drug debt. Also sentenced today, the former Madison High School teacher convicted of videotaping students in their hotel rooms. David Crockton was sentenced to 12 years in federal prison. He was accused of recording undressed students during field trips in Wisconsin and Minnesota while working as a teacher at Madison East High School back in 2019. A tragic ending to the statewide Amber Alert of three-year-old Major Harris. Yesterday, the boy was found dead on Milwaukee's north side, and today, his death has been officially ruled a homicide after an autopsy conducted by the Milwaukee County Medical Examiner's Office found Major had been shot in the head. Today, the family of the little boy talking to the media. Evil. Evil, pure evil. That's it. That's all. They have no souls, no nothing. How can you do a baby like that? That's a baby. He can't talk, he, he can't point you out, do none of that. It was senseless. Her murder was senseless. There were two other deaths involved in the case as well. Major's mother, Mallory Menzenberger, was found dead last Thursday. One day later, the main suspect in the case was also found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. Milwaukee police say multiple other arrests have been made but would not elaborate. The man charged in the killing of three local teens in a drunk driving crash was released from jail after posting bail today. That's according to his attorney. Eric Merrick's cash bond was set just yesterday at $75,000. And his defense attorney, Chris Van Wagner, is telling us various monitoring devices are being installed to ensure that Maring complies with the conditions of his release. He's charged with three counts of homicide by intoxicated use of a vehicle, three counts of secondary reckless homicide, and two counts of secondary recklessly endangering safety. Let's check your certified most accurate forecast. Now here is meteorologist Dana Fulton out on the patio. Dana? It is a lovely fall evening for us. Sunset just a little bit ago, so now it's going to start to get a little cooler outside. And because of this, we yet again have frost advisories in effect for most of southern Wisconsin. Freeze warnings and 
in effect now for the western county. So Grant, Crawford, and Richland counties included for that freeze warning for Saturday morning. Temperatures across the board, though, expected to drop down to about 30 to 32 for us overnight. A really gorgeous sunset just in the last uh, hour or so with a little bit of cloud coverage hanging out overhead. 46 currently in Madison, so we've already pulled back from where we saw our afternoon highs. 50 degrees in Janesville right now and 45 in Mineral Point. Overnight temperatures will drop close to 30 to start off tomorrow. In the afternoon, plan on sunshine for your Saturday. High temperatures will yet again be close to 50 degrees, so a cool afternoon, but a dry afternoon for Saturday. More of a soggy setup expected to build in for Sunday, but we'll take a closer look at your full forecast in just a few minutes. Dana, thank you. The city of Madison just weeks away from opening a sheltered campground to house dozens of people currently living in tents at Rindall Park. Talil Muhadeen visited the new site on Dairy Drive where construction is well underway and shares the city's vision for this property. Hannah Molinsky says the city of Madison is in a race against time. We are building quickly, efficiently, and we're getting it done on time. And that's the most important because we know people really need this space. To provide shelter from the cold for the dozens of unhoused people living at Rindell Park. These units are not luxurious. They are for necessity. They are to make sure that people are safe and healthy and warm before the winter. 30 different tiny homes with heat will fill this property on Dairy Drive. Power at each location, um, enough to power a mini fridge, again lighting, and then there will be a bunk built in and lighting built in. As for bathrooms and showers, those will be in a separate building on the property, a building which will also house a campground manager. To provide assistance to uh, campground users, uh, to help them address whatever issues that might be preventing them from being stably housed. Community Development Director Jim O'Keefe is hoping the new space and the operation plan that will come with will offer more structure. The lack of, of management and, and any kind of control over the footprint of, of the encampment at Rindle and the numbers of people using it have really contributed to some of the, the difficulties that um, that we've experienced. A new location he knows has gotten mixed reviews from many at Rindell Park. We are and 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 will be making um, accommodations for transportation to try to address um, some of those concerns. This location might not work for everybody. But for the people it does work for, O'Keefe says move-in could be as early as mid-November. Um, you know, we may need to make some difficult decisions about about who we asked to go where. In Madison, Dalian Hadin, News 3 Now. And to fill those 30 units on Dairy Drive, the city will be conducting assessments as early as next week to determine who they expect to be most successful at the new campground. And this will leave about 30 to 40 people at Rindell Park still in need of better shelter from the cold. New tonight, a judge has granted a request from wildlife advocacy groups and blocked Wisconsin's fall wolf hunt with just two weeks before hunters were set to take to the woods. A Dane County Circuit Court judge issued the temporary injunction today halting the season. The order comes as part of a lawsuit wildlife advocacy groups filed in August seeking to stop the hunt and invalidate a state law authorizing annual seasons. In today's COVID-19 headlines, Dane County, still the only county in Wisconsin to be in the high level of transmission. The other 71 are either in the very high or critically high category. And the CDC approving boosters for all three COVID vaccines yesterday. For As for which booster you can get, it's really up to you. And in some places in Wisconsin, you could get one right now. The CDC announced Thursday vaccine mixing for boosters is not only okay, but it's in Courage, particularly if you got the Johnson and Johnson shot. UW Health's Dr. Bill Hartman says that the two mRNA vaccines can make all the difference in the world in terms of antibodies. Johnson and Johnson followed by a Pfizer booster increased antibody levels by about 42 times. Uh, it was increased by 75 times with the Moderna booster. And officials recommend calling your local pharmacies to find out which boosters they have in stock with places like Hy-Vee and CVS getting doses weekly. Also today, Pfizer says its kid-sized doses of its vaccine are safe and nearly 91% effective at preventing symptomatic infections in elementary school-aged children. Details of the study were posted online today as U.S. regulators consider opening vaccinations to youngsters 5 to 11. The shots could begin early next month if regulators give the go-ahead. Full-strength Pfizer shots already are authorized for anyone 12 and older.
A nurse practitioner in the Milwaukee area has a bone to pick with anyone who hasn't been vaccinated. Check out the Halloween display in Grafton. Kevin Jacoby has nine skeletons in purple masks on his lawn. Many of them are holding giant syringes that are supposed to be vaccinations. You can also see a large coronavirus ball up front. The message is, uh, you know, get vaccinated. Um, there's many people that are, uh, you know, still kind of hanging in there and, and, and on the fence about getting vaccinated. Um, the science is, uh, is there. I'm a nurse practitioner and, uh, you know, we, we need to save lives. It's, um, it's gone on too long. And today, Governor Tony Evers signing an executive order ordering all flags to half staff tomorrow. It's in honor of a volunteer firefighter who lost his life in the line of duty after contracting COVID-19. Gary Berg of North Prairie passed away on Tuesday at the age of 54. He contracted the virus while on duty. The governor writes, Berg served the people of the state of Wisconsin and North Prairie for 36 years. The very first canine to be used in the Village of Oregon Police Department will be hanging up her badge later this month. Canine Vendy's last day will be October 30th first marking exactly 11 years with the department and the department will host a retirement party on November 3rd at Kaiser Park to honor Vendy's service and recognize handler officer Josh Coleman's work in creating and maintaining the canine program there still to come tonight a few reminders for parents as most kids will get back out to do some trick-or-treating this year plus a closer look at the rising cost of rent across the state that's when news Three now at six returns stay with us Those brave men and women of our armed forces, generations of them, why should today's burdens fall back onto them? They were there for us. Now let's be there for them. Your local Wisconsin energy providers and the Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund are working together to deliver Wisconsin veterans in crisis heat, power, and help staying in their home. But they can't do it alone. Call to donate today. Spectrum Mobile is reinventing wireless again. Introducing the best deal in mobile. Unlimited on two or more lines for just $29.99 a line. All on a nationwide 5G network that provides the best overall experience and reliability. Call 844-677-2999. Unlimited for $29.99. This offer's gonna take off. We changed the rules when we introduced mobile with no contracts, no added taxes, and no hidden fees. And now we're doing it again. Making it easier to get unlimited for less with our best deal ever. Get unlimited from Spectrum Mobile for just $29.99. That's amazing. It's the best deal in mobile. Join the millions who've switched and get the best deal in mobile. Unlimited talk, text, and data with nationwide 5G included for just $29.99 and save up to 60%. Call 844-677-2999. Click SpectrumMobile.com or visit a store near you. When the leaves start to fall and the nights get cooler, you know it's sofa season. Steinhoffels has a sofa to fit every style and budget. A sofa for the big game, a sofa for catching up, a sofa for cuddling. During Steinhoffels Falling Prices Sale, every sofa, every bedroom, every dining room and more, it's all on sale. Steinhoffels has the largest selection of in-stock furniture and all the best brands of mattresses. It's the Falling Prices Sale, only at Steinhoffels and Steinhoffels.com. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Winner of the National Edward R. Murrow Award for Overall Excellence in Television. And welcome back. A traffic note tonight. City of Madison says come Monday it will be reducing the speed limit for a portion of Cottage Grove Road. They say this is the final speed reduction for scheduled projects under the city's Vision Zero initiative for 2021. A total of 1.3 miles of Cottage Grove Road will be impacted from Drexel to Highway 51 and then Highway 51 to Flora. Several other thoroughfares have also had speed reductions since the summer. Many traditional Halloween celebrations are back this year. And local health experts believe being outdoors in small groups is a safe way for children to resume a traditional night of trick-or-treating. Last year, like so many things, most Halloween events were canceled given the high number of COVID-19 cases and the vaccine not yet being available. Given that many children and families will be out trick-or-treating this year, parents and families should keep some safety ideas and some concepts top of mind. Kids are more than twice as likely to get hit by a vehicle and killed on Halloween night because there's more kids out, so we just need to be more mindful. 
And here are some of the simple tips from the experts to keep in mind. If you're driving, slow down, be alert. Trick-or-treaters should carry glow sticks or flashlights and cross the street at crosswalks. Parents should join their children if they're under the age of 12 for any trick-or-treating activities. Last month, nationwide rent rose by half a percent. Now, that sounds pretty small, but it is the fastest pace in about 20 years. Jordan Fremstad looks at what rent prices can tell about the health of our economy. Between the Bluffs and Mississippi River exists a photogenic community. I love living in La Crosse. You can also picture the nation's current economy in this valley. We've seen rent, price, rent prices increase from around 2 to 3 percent, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it adds up pretty quickly. UW La Crosse Associate Professor of Economics Adam Hoffer says inflation is above 5%, a mark where economists pay attention. What that means is that prices are rising really fast. Wages rose too, but not at consistent levels across all professions. Stagnant wages tighten financial stress on people when rent rises. It's going to be harder and harder to make all of the payments. Between 2019 and 2020, the income for full-time workers increased 6.9%. In the meantime, since January of this year, one metric found rent nationwide spiked 16%. Sometimes the housing available doesn't meet the needs of the working population. Adam would know he is a landlord himself. He says renters need more options. It's not always easy to build that. Building code regulations can make investing in rentals expensive. Adam says investors also face pushback from neighborhood associations. It's not a popular idea. Where nimbyism exists. So a lot of this is us dealing with ourselves, not in my backyard, right? It's hard to find new places because La Crosse is sandwiched inside this valley. That was Jordan Fremstad reporting. Adam provided an example why building codes can make renovations expensive. He tried to turn a building into an affordable option, but the cost of a sprinkler system alone costs more than the building. He said he couldn't afford to do that. And still to come after today's cool down, is there any chance for a warm up this weekend? Dana is back. She's got all the answers in her full forecast. the lowest prices of the season one day mattress sale going on tomorrow at Ashley Home Store. Fall in love with your home again by saving up to 60% off. Plus get $300 in free furniture and no interest financing for up to five years on luxury brands. Only at Ashley Home Store. Guys, if you're suffering from erectile dysfunction, Peak Performance for Men has a natural solution that can help you today. That's right. Stop wasting money on pill after pill that just masks your ED. Fix it for good. We can make the difference. Call Peak Performance for Men today are doubly important this year. So make your celebrations doubly special with our award-winning cave-aged Murray's cheese. Pick and save. Hey, you're right, we can't stop now. Let's take the special up a level with fresh, never frozen prime beef. Still not special enough? Add some surf to that turf with our sustainably caught seafood. Turn your taste buds up to 11 and have a doubly special holiday with Pick and Save, fresh for everyone. At US Cellular, we know the local landscape so we can help everyone stay connected for less. And less also means more, as in more choice. While the other guys may limit your options, at US Cellular, you choose any phone and we make it free. That's right, visit our store and any phone you see is free. Plus, get unlimited data for $30 a month and get the most out of our state-of-the-art network wherever you choose to go. US Cellular, America's locally grown wireless. Ah, oh, what a beautiful day to welcome you to your retirement with Physicians Mutual. Including coverage for the gaps in Medicare. Oh, I'm so happy I could just sing. You've got that happy retirement feeling. I've got that Physicians Mutual feeling. You helped me find the coverage I need. So you can have the retirement you deserve. I've got a good, good feeling now that I'm covered. Physicians Mutual, Physicians Mutual. Mutual.
prices of the season one day sale going on tomorrow at Ashley Home Store. Fall in love with your home again by saving up to 49% off, plus no interest financing for five years. Pay less than $20 a month for a new room you'll love. Only at Ashley Home Store. Well, there is a bit of a chill in the air for Friday night football tonight, and it is going to get colder overnight as we look ahead to your Saturday morning frost advisories in effect throughout southern Wisconsin. And as we look off to the southwest counties for Grant, Richland, and Crawford counties, freeze warnings in effect for Saturday morning. This time of year, usually we're starting to get more into the habit of having frost to start off the days, but this year it's been a little behind schedule. Yesterday, our, our first frost advisory issued for this morning. Usually, again, that first First frost around October 11th and our first freeze and the October 1st through 10th date for southern Wisconsin. And we're already pushing towards the end of the month. It's certainly been a mild middle of October, but we are in a more seasonable pattern for the end of the month as we look ahead to November. Frost will be likely for tomorrow morning. Very chilly start to the day. Sunshine expected for Saturday afternoon and overall a dry trend for the first half of the weekend. But by the second half of the weekend, more shower chances will build in. It's going to be a little soggy outside for the end of Sunday and heading into Monday. Radar is quiet right now. We do have a few more clouds in the sky and that's led to a really nice sunset for us. Temperatures early Saturday morning falling close to 30 for those overnight lows everywhere uh, north of Dane County could be seeing the upper 20s for those overnight lows. For tomorrow afternoon, plan on highs near 50 degrees with sunshine coming through for our Saturday. The shower chances increase throughout the day on Sunday and bring us scattered showers through the afternoon and evening and that's going to linger into Monday morning. So again, it's Holding on to that soggy rain setup for the start of the work week. This will stay rain. Temperature wise, we'll be in the 40s, so not concerned about that transition just yet. Mostly sunny skies for tomorrow. High temperatures will be close to 50 for afternoon highs. A light breeze coming in from the northwest, generally in the, the single digits for our wind speed. So it is going to be cool. Outdoor plans tomorrow, probably going to need the jacket, even with the sunshine coming through. And certainly anyone heading out for, for football tonight, likely going to need a layer or two. Areas of frost again. Saturday night into Sunday. Areas of frost possible for Sunday night into Monday with that soggy setup bringing scattered showers for the start of the work week. For the middle of the work week for Tuesday and Wednesday, seeing those temperatures rise just a little bit more will be in the upper 50s with sunshine for Tuesday and our next system bringing in rain chances Tuesday night and for Wednesday. It looks like that rain will linger into Thursday and our temperatures will start to back off by the back half of the work week with highs in the middle 50s and overnight lows in the 40s. Next weekend, Halloween weekend right now does look dry for both Saturday and Sunday, so that's good news for us, but it's going to be a little chilly outside, so costumes probably should plan around temperatures being in the 40s for trick-or-treating on Sunday, and it does look like the start of the next week, the start of November, right now moves into a dry but very chilly pattern. And coming up in sports tomorrow, there's a huge showdown on the ice at Le Bon while the Badger women are comparing their rivalry with the Buckeyes to the border battle. That's next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Update your spaces with help from Menards. Get organized with a designer's image wooden closet system. Use as a freestanding system or mount to the wall. This is great for hanging clothes and storing accessories. Designer's image wooden closet systems are 11% off. Refresh your floor with our huge selection of waterproof and durable vinyl plank and tile. It's easy to install and great for high traffic areas. Get 11% off all vinyl plank flooring at Menards. When 140 mile per hour winds come out of nowhere and try to wipe you off the map. When you look up and see sky where your roof used to be. When the power is out and stays out for seven or eight or 10 days. When the phone lines are down and the cell phones have all gone dead, you find out who your friends are. Because the worst brings out our best. 
worked at HuffCore for the last 36 years. HuffCore, closing the plant, moving production to Mexico. I gave my life and my body to that place. Ron Johnson pushed through a tax law that rewards outsourcing. Companies can bring profits back from Mexico tax-free. And worse, Ron Johnson profited personally from outsourcing. He has doubled his wealth since taking office. Tell Ron Johnson to stop putting his profits above our jobs. This Halloween, we could all use a treat. The goblins, the grandpas, the robots, and the giant pancakes. Because this year, the best house on the block is the International House of Pancakes. Golden Cars is selling new body style 2018 Chevy Equinoxes starting only $14,995 or 235 per month. That's right. Golden Cars is having a huge sale on 2018 Chevy Equinoxes, very well equipped, starting at $14,995 or 235 per month. So hurry today and just ask for my daughter, Crystal the Pistol Govin. Or my dad, Don the Dealman Govin. Go to Golden Cars East or West with over 500 vehicles to choose from. You gotta go to Govin. GovinCars.com. Saturday morning, we are previewing Dodge County's prescription drug take back day. How you can help out and make room for some sunshine this weekend. Julian will have your weekend forecast at five and eight. Number one, Wisconsin versus number two, Ohio State. It doesn't get any better than this in women's hockey. And the Badger Buckeye rivalry is actually starting to feel like one even though UW owns the all-time series. The last 10 meetings between the two, five wins for Wisconsin, four for Ohio State, and a tie. The last two were on the big stage, the Frozen Four and the final face-off. So when these two teams skate against each other, it just feels different. Kind of see it almost like the border battle. I think Ohio State is, uh, they're a gritty team, and I don't know what it is, but they're just a team that, uh, you hate losing too, and kudos to them. You know, you want to be a team like that. Since my freshman year, our uh, rivalry with Ohio State has escalated, so it'll definitely be uh, some competitive games and uh, pretty intense for us, so I'm looking forward to it. Jim Leonard and the Badger defense are going to have a, another tough test on their hands Saturday, and he goes by the name of David Bell. The Purdue wideout leads the Big Ten in receiving yards per game, and he's coming off his best performance of the season. Bell owned Iowa, catching 11 passes for 240 yards and a touchdown. And after seeing him on film, Paul Chris summed up his play in one word, talented. He is really good, you know, and... Not that that's a news flash or you need to come to this press conference for that. Um, but, you know, I think talented. He's a special player that can go get the ball. Um, I mean, he's uh, he's one of the best in the country. He uh, he finds a way to, or they find a way to get him the ball, um, regardless of short routes, deep routes. In case you missed it last night, Melvin Gordon had a quiet night. Eight rushes for 18 yards and two catches for 14 yards. But the former Badger did find the end zone for the third time this season. His touchdown cut into the Browns' lead, but the Broncos ended up losing the game by three points. And don't forget, tonight at 10 is a special postseason edition of the Final Drive. We're bringing you seven games from around the area from level one of the high school playoffs. Dana, a bit chilly outside. It's going to be a little cold, buddy. Better, better bundle up if you're heading out the door. <laughs> we do have frost advisories in effect for tonight throughout southern Wisconsin for your Saturday morning. Freeze warnings for Grant Crawford in Richland County, so the southwest corner of the state. Sunshine for Saturday. Temps will be close to 50 for afternoon highs. Areas of frost likely again Saturday night and Sunday night with scattered showers expected for us for Sunday and for Monday. So a little bit of a soggy start to the, the work week. As we look ahead to Tuesday and Wednesday, high temperatures will be in the upper 50s with rain chances expected for Wednesday and Thursday. Behind that rain chance, though, likely going to hit a drier stretch and that's going to keep us in a pretty nice spot, spot for Halloween weekend. And looking ahead to the start of November. All right, Dana, thank you. Thanks for joining us for News 3 now at 6. We're back tonight at 10 with all those high school football highlights. Have a great evening.